Good morning, Kennedy Elementary. It is Monday, August 23rd. We hope you are ready to start a wonderful week at school. My name is Mr. Newport, and my job is to keep you safe so that you can show us just how excellent you can be. We hope that you left average on the bus or in the car or at home this morning so that you can be ready to have a respectful and responsible day. Speaking of responsibilities, one of our responsibilities every single day is to show respect to the rights that we have in this country and to show respect for our school. The way that we do that is we say our Pledge of Allegiance daily. We also say the pledge to our flag, or to, excuse me, the school pledge. When we do this, we stand up tall, we put our hands over our heart, and we say the pledge loudly and clearly with pride. Don't worry if you don't know it yet. Just follow along. You'll get it in no time. Let's see who's helping us out with the pledge this morning. The Pledge of Allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please remain standing for the Kennedy School Pledge. I pledge myself as a Kennedy Dragon to be ready for the day ahead of me. I will be respectful of myself, my teachers, and all others I meet throughout the day. I promise to be responsible for myself, my actions, and my learning. I will work my hardest to be the best dragon I can be. Please take a moment to reflect silently on our day, our activities, and what we hope to accomplish. Okay. All right, one of uh, another responsibility that we have is to keep ourselves and others safe. And we can do this by making sure that we wash our hands frequently throughout the day. When we wash our hands, we want to make sure that we're using soap and water or an alcohol-based hand sanitizer. And we want to make sure that we're washing all of our hand, all parts of our hands and doing it for at least 20 seconds. So let's go ahead and model what good hand washing looks like right now. Get yourself some hand, some hand sanitizer or some soap. Okay, and let's go. We want to get the front of our hands, two, three, four, five. We want to get the back of one hand, two, three, four, five. Get the back of another hand, two, three, four, five. Get in between our fingers, two, three, four, five. Get our fingertips, two, three, four, five. Get your other fingertip, two, three, four, five. Get your thumb, two, three, four, five. Get the other thumb, two, three, four, five. Your wrist, two, three, four, five. And your other wrist, two, three, four, five. Uh, and now your hands are nice and clean. Now that we're ready to start the day, let's show respect to those of our friends who have birthdays today. Happy birthday, Samantha Masfakini, 10 years old today. We hope you have a wonderful birthday Monday. Happy birthday. It's always great to be responsible, and let's be responsible now by making sure that we have filled out our lunch choice for today. For lunch today, we are going to have cheesy pizza bites. Mm, we had cheese pizza on Friday. We're carrying that over to Monday. Cheesy pizza bites with sauce marinara. And what else we got? We got baby carrots, ZZ's applesauce, and fresh fruit. Hope you guys enjoy it. Of course, you don't, if you don't like As you know, one of our goals this year is to build our vocabulary. We pick a picture each week for you guys to look at, analyze, and discuss with your classmates and to come up with cool words or sentences about what you see or what you think is going on. On Mondays, we introduce a new picture. On Tuesdays, we look at the picture and we try to find nouns. On Wednesdays, we try to find verbs. Thursdays are adjectives and adverbs, and Fridays are prepositional phrases. So being Monday, I want to talk about last week's mind-blowing picture. Here it is. And let's look at some of the responses that came in from some classes about prepositional phrases. Oh my goodness, no, oh yep, there, there's only four. So let's talk about these four here. Uh, Miss Jackson's class said they found the preposition on. The goats are on the tree. They are over the ground and they are under the sky. Very good. Good prepositions here. Uh, Mr. Miss Ballard's class found some uh, very interesting things as well. They see basically the same things. Very good, guys. And it looks like Miss Ham's class had a couple more. They said, the smallest goats wonder what's beyond the hill. The king of the goats gets to be at the top of the tree. I wonder if that's right. I wonder if the one at the very top is the king of the goats. Hmm. Great job with this picture this, this week, guys. I am going to 
show you now our picture for this week. I hope it blows your mind. <laughs> now it's time for our Monday message. And our Monday morning message is on education. Good morning, Kennedy Elementary School. This is Mr. Newport with a few words of wisdom. How many of you have a hard time making yourself do homework? Does just the thought of it make you feel sick? Do you put it off until the last minute? Do you whine and complain? Do you make excuses why you shouldn't do it? It's boring, or I didn't write it down, or it's too hard. Now, listen up. Homework doesn't have to be a terrible, horrible, worse than eating dirt kind of thing. The trick to doing homework is just to do it. Decide on a certain time you'll do it each day, eat a healthy snack before you start, and work at the same place so your brain knows it's time to switch into homework gear. Ask for help when you need it. Then remember this, it feels great to get your homework done. If you do it early, you can relax the rest of the evening without having that sick feeling of, oh gosh, I still have to do my homework. With something to think about, this is Mr. Newport. Make it a great day or not. The choice is yours. That is all we have for announcements, so please help me. Me and your teachers keep you safe. That is our job. And your job is to help us keep you safe. And you can help us by being a ready, respectful, and responsible student who is focused on graduating in the year. Because when you are a ready, respectful, and responsible student focused on graduation, you, you are, are boldly committed to student, student success. success. I love you very much. Have a great day. time for our read aloud uh, of the day. Uh, we do read alouds for three reasons. One is to help build vocabulary. Vocabulary is just the amount of words that you know. Um, and the best way to increase vocabulary is to just expose you to more words, reading books. Second thing, we want to model what good readers do. Good readers read fluently, which means they read the words uh, correctly at a good pace, not too fast, not too slow, and with expression. And the third thing is it allows you guys to practice what good readers do by listening for certain things in the book. Uh, the story elements, the character, who or what the story is about, the set, uh, setting, where and when the story is taking place, and the sequence of events, what happened first, next, and last. Uh, so here we go. There was an old lady who swallowed some books by Lucille Calandra. She is the author, which means she wrote the words, illustrated by Jared Lee. Uh, he's the illustrator, that means he drew the book. There was an old lady who swallowed some books. I don't know why she swallowed those books, but she didn't get any looks. There was an old lady who swallowed a pen. She was happy again when she swallowed that pen. She swallowed the pen to write in the books. I don't know why she swallowed the books, but she didn't get any looks. There was an old lady who swallowed a pencil case. Without leaving a trace, she swallowed that pencil case. She swallowed the pencil case to hold the pen. She swallowed the pen to write in the books. I don't know why she swallowed the books, but she didn't get any looks. There was an old lady who swallowed a ruler. She couldn't look cooler swallowing that ruler. She swallowed the ruler to measure the pencil case. She swallowed the pencil case to hold the pen. She swallowed the pen to write in the books. I don't know why she swallowed the books, but she didn't get any looks. There was an old lady who swallowed a folder. She didn't feel any older when she swallowed that folder. She swallowed the folder to protect the ruler. She swallowed the ruler to measure the case. She swallowed the pencil case to hold the pen. She swallowed the pen to write in the books. I don't know why she swallowed the books but she didn't get any looks. There was an old lady who swallowed some chalk. She didn't balk when she swallowed that chalk. She swallowed the chalk to decorate the folder. She swallowed the folder to protect the ruler. She swallowed the ruler to measure the pencil case. She swallowed the pencil case to hold the pen. 
She swallowed the pen to write in the books. I don't know why she swallowed the books, but she didn't get any looks. There was an old lady who swallowed a bag. She didn't brag when she swallowed that bag. The old lady didn't, whoops, sorry. Yeah. The old lady didn't fuss when she, when around the corner came a big yellow bus. She started to cheer that she couldn't hold back and out popped her brand new book bag. Backpack. Have a great school year. That was. There was an old lady who swallowed some books. We needed that. Been in school for three weeks now. We needed a book. Just remember.